What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to build this old school F-150 that I did make. This is sort of like a basic trail build, just like the Jeep Cherokee that I did build. So let's go ahead and take this thing out to a simple little trail. I'm going to show you what this thing can do, and then afterwards I'm going to show you the tune. If you want to know the name of the map, go ahead and check in the description down below and you'll be able to find the name of the map. So let's go ahead and actually get this started. Now this F-150 is a decent little trail rig. It's actually not too bad. The only problem that I don't like about this F-150 is the approach angle that it has for the front. But other than that, it's a pretty good crawler. Now so far my favorite one for like, like I'd have to say the best vehicle so far I think in the game for sort of stock vehicles would have to be the newer Bronco. Now I'm going to eventually be doing a test where the Bronco and the Jeep are going head to head against each other, which is actually going to be the Bronco and the Jeep Wrangler. So let me know down below in the comments guys if y'all are ready for that video to be coming out. I'm actually ready to make that. I want to see which one will win in the end and be crowned of, you know, stock trunks. Okay, we're just going to take a right over here. Now I'm not too sure exactly where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. What is this over here? Huh, is this like a little dino spot or like a garage or something? Maybe a workshop? I'm not too sure. We're just gonna make our way around the top of this. I do see that there might be a possible trail up here. Guys, let me know down below in the comments if you've actually been to this trail or this map before. So far, I actually like it. It's somewhat realistic. It's not too bad of a realistic trail. I still have yet to find a true trail that is exactly realistic and everything down to T. Now, this one might actually... It might actually be the one. Okay, so I see there's a bridge up there in the top left. We're just going to go ahead and make our way over here to the right. I want to see if we can get to the bridge. How do we even get up there? Hmm. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, guys, there's a little spot over here. So we're gonna go. Oh, here it is. This is how you get to the bridge. It's literally right there. I thought I had to climb all the way up on top of that hill to get on it. Oh, this is kind of cool. Wonder where this takes me. Hopefully, some extremely challenging rock crawling stuff. Okay, so there's another bridge. I'm liking this so far, I'm liking this so far. I actually like this F-150, it's doing pretty good. Let me know down below in the comments guys, what are your thoughts on this? How do you think this F-150 is? Do you like the color scheme? Do you like the way it's performing? We're gonna go ahead and make our way up this little simple trail right here. This actually doesn't look too difficult. Let's hope this fork can go up it kind of realistically. Since it is sort of a realistic build, that's, you know, the whole goal that I'm going for with these realistic builds is to be able to have it to slow crawl and not have to jump up everything. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the tune for this. Alright guys, so we're going to go straight to the engine. We have stage 2, then grip is maxed out, weight is maxed out, it is a diesel, durability is maxed out, it is not manual, and everything else in here is stock. Now we're going to dive straight into tuning, we're going to go straight to tune suspension. Now for the axis width on the front is going to be 0 0.01. We're going to have stiffness at 26,000, travel at 0.32, and then our dampening at 6,400. Now we're at the rear of this, our axis width is 0 0.01. Our stiffness at 26,000, travel at 0.33, and then dampening at 4,600. Now we're going to go straight to the wheels and tires. This is going to be the same for the front and rear. 0.9 for the rim size. Wheel radius is going to be 1.1 along with wheel width at 1.0. Now we go straight into the gear tuning. First gear is going to be a 3.4. Second gear is going to be 2.6. Third gear 1.4. Fourth gear 0.9. Fifth gear 0.7 along with low gear at 4.0. All right, now we go straight to the dyno. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how much horsepower this thing makes. Let me know down below in the comments, how much horsepower do you think this truck is gonna make? Oh, look at that, it makes 400 horsepower and 673 foot-pounds of torque. And that is because we diesel swapped it. 
Now that you have the tune, we're gonna go straight to the body. I have the second bumper along with the first stock wheel wheels. I have the second bumper for the rear. We do have a winch on the front. My headlights are white and then I do have a repair pack in the rear along with a tire sticking in the bed. Now we go straight to the paint. If you look at the right side of my screen, that is the paint color that I do have. So go ahead and match that up and I do have max window tint. And then we have the 10th section of rims inside of the rim section. We have the 8th set of tires for the tire section. And we're going to go straight to decals. As you can tell, I have a bunch of gray decals and brown decals. As you look at the left, this is everything I do have on it. So I do have the F-150 and everything. Only thing I don't have is the Ford for the rear. Well guys, let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about this F-150? Are you going to build it? Do you think it's a good build or do you think it's really bad? Let me know your comments down below. Besides that guys, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.